If you got a question, message us on Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social media sites that will be down in the description. So, today, I'm going to be speaking about the value of being self-taught. And I'm talking about being self-taught in the art area. Now, as an artist, speaking from personal experience that has gone through the uh, art school system, I can say that most of what I've learned is from self-taught online. You know, we are in the information age, and a lot of these things are a lot more easier to access. And so if you wanted to learn about anatomy or various other artistic techniques, you can all learn that online. Now, to clarify, my school wasn't necessarily an art school. It was just a, a college with a degree in visual arts, but it didn't like specialize in art or anything like that. I think, I think it more so specialized in business or so. So at my school, it felt pretty rushed when we were taking the, uh, the drawing one class, the, the beginning drawing class. We didn't learn much about the anatomy and proportions in detail. It was just pretty much learn how to do this charcoal drawing. And I felt that they were putting us in the lion's den without teaching us the fundamental rules of drawing. And now there were some kids in a class that already had background experience of doing the drawing. So I guess they wanted to find some way to balance out. They wanted to find some way to teach the collective instead of the individual. So that's the, that's the flaw of art school or schooling in general. But when you're self-taught, you can learn a lot more information. And so, uh, not to mock the uh, the social status of the professors at the I at the um, at the college, but when you're looking online or through YouTube, looking through various uh, other sources, for example, YouTubing certain art teachers, you have to take into consideration that these YouTube art teachers they have a extremely large following backing them up compared to the professor that just has the degree. If you have a following. A large following that likes you generally then that's much more higher of a social proof compared to just a regular professor so you must know what you're doing if you have that large of a fan base liking your stuff and so I've had some great art teachers and I've had some not so great art teachers but I feel when you're going into the schooling the the teachers are more so focused on two things teaching the collective group of students and teaching you individually and there's only a certain amount of time and you visit like once a week so it's very slow paced as opposed to being self-taught you have all the time that you need for a book that you're reading or the teacher that you're looking at on on YouTube or other sites so you're learning at your own pace and once you're learning at your own pace you're gaining even more knowledge that's the value of being self-taught so I didn't go to every single college that had art in the entire world so I won't generalize it but I felt that the the art programs were way too easy some some of the classes were like some of the classes were unnecessary uh, some of the classes were too easy and I felt they should have added in some some more extra classes based on drawing because it is a it is a much more in-depth topic and I'd like for an exam based anatomy class to be added to some of the art schools I mean the the exam based anatomy class that I'm referring to is not necessarily based on artistic skill it's more so graded upon you knowing certain parts of the body you knowing where to locate certain parts of the anatomy and whatnot and even some of my art professors would tell the students to to read so-and-so book they would recommend books for us to read for us to be self-taught and even if they did recommend the drawing books it'd be awesome to have a art class in which we're actually going through the drawing book and actually studying some of the anatomy from that drawing book and this class would be in a different branch. For example, we have drawing one, we have figure drawing, there's landscape drawing. 
but we can have a, a nanami studying book class and memorizing whatever i don't know what they would call it but i'd like a class like that and to be honest with you you don't really need all that you don't need a school babysitting you telling you what to do you know if you're self-taught and you're self-motivated instead of being dependent upon a teacher to tell you what to do all the time and i do feel that if you don't know your fundamentals when you're going into an art school or taking some art classes then it's pretty much slowing you down compared to a student that already has his fundam his or hers fundamental in place and that'll just be if they're taking an art class that'll just be extra more practice for them extra practice for them compared to a student that doesn't know some of the basic fundamentals and they're constantly practicing the same thing without knowing some of the basic fundamentals and without knowing the uh, the fundamentals the beginner student will have a slow pace development i feel that beginner art students should have uh, the fundamental of understanding general human proportions mastering the mannequin from different poses and understanding a uh, 3d perception before going into drawing from observation because they are they're putting beginner students straight into the lines then without knowing without them knowing the fundamentals and that way once they know their fundamentals it will constantly be reinforced as they're drawing sure they're going to make a mistake here and there but once you know the f fundamentals you'll know how to correct your own work and instead of knowing how to shade or or color well you'll know how to properly put the human structure into your painting or charcoal drawing and that will be the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed consider to hit the subscribe button and that'll be all peace out